Hi guys, it's Mino and welcome back to another episode on the channel. We are back on the Hypixel Scarblock servers if you do want to come and join us. Hope you are doing well and keeping safe. And today guys, we've got a very exciting episode for you today. We're going to be going over the best crops to get the most farming XP possible. Farming XP is a huge one. It's super important throughout the whole game for when you're making a load of money with Nether Wart or if you're doing farming events or you're trying to get your 400% speed boost with the Ranger Boots. So yeah, we've got a very exciting episode today. So we're going to be going over the top three. I'm going to be doing the test. I've done a bit of rough estimation. We're going over a test trick to go over the top three crops to be doing it. And we're going to be doing it proper mathematical and everything. So to start off today, we are going to be doing with Sugarcane. And I'm going to show you if you go into your skills. And currently our farming is 554,210. So 554,210 XP. And I'm going to be doing it for five minutes on three of our crops. We're going to be using the big farms that we have been grinding out. And it is going to be these two farms. It is going to be our sugarcane farm, which hopefully we won't have to max out fully. We are going to be doing the melon farm at the bottom. And this one, which I haven't done on uh, stream yet, is the pumpkin farm. So it can be very exciting to go through the pumpkins, melons, and the sugarcane. I believe they are your top three for farming XP. And I'm basically going to prove it today. So we're going to start off with whoops. Uh, we're going to start off with doing sugarcane. So I'm going to basically do five minutes off camera, come back to you and show you how much we've done and therefore figure it all out. Of course, I'm going to be having a farming XP boost, three potions, a 20% for farming XP. I have got the uh, elephant pet on anyway. And then I've also got the booster cookie just activated. So we've got all of our boost, which is another 20% if you do not know. So we've got all of our XP boost so we can show the maximum amount of XP we can get. This is going to be five minutes for each and then we'll be able to times it out and figure out which one's the best drifter. Doesn't matter and as long as you've got a big farm, it doesn't matter. But we're going to be using, this is not the max out bless, it's not maxed out fully. So of course you could probably make more with the sugar cane when it's maxed out, but with what I've got. And then we've got the pumpkin dicer and the melon dicer, which same again. These are both not maxed out, but they're the best I've got. So it's real equal so we're going to see what we can get but yeah we're going to start off with the skin and yeah i'll be back when uh, we've done our first test we are back and as you can see i'm just looking here at the farming xp we have got an up to 589,563 and doing a quick math on the calculator that's about 35,352 experience for just five minutes so of course if you times that it's nearly 400k uh, for the hour for sugarcane so that is sugarcane we got through Quite a few rows actually i was quite surprised at how far we got in uh just five minutes of farming so that was very very effective and like i said there's many ways to if i had this maybe high slightly higher leveled and say with my elephant pet you might get slightly more but that's what we got so far for the sugar cane so now we're going to fall all the way to the bottom and we are going to use our uh, melon dicer. We're going to do the same again for the melon dicer, starting at the same number, of course, and working our way through. But luckily, we're going to start uh, on this row where there's a, quite a lot of melons. So it should make it a little bit more uh, similar because, of course, if there's not a lot of melons, make it a challenge. So, yeah, we're going to uh, fly through the next set of melons and see what numbers we get for the next one and see if melons or not beat it. The reason we're picking these three, just in case you're wondering, is because, in my opinion, these are the best three for making money that are not nether wart because of ease and because, hopefully, of how much XP they make you and how many drops you get. So, if you're wondering why I picked these three, these are the main ones of this slightly unmathematical setup. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys after we've done the melon. We are back after just doing five minutes of farming with the melons we have got a total of 621,732 xp and doing a quick calculation on the calculator we find out that we have got 32,169 xp which is just under 3,000 less than what the sugar cane did so that was quite interesting the sugar cane did give us more uh, by about 3,000 of course if you times that up uh, it sort of starts to add up quite a bit but we still got similar sort of drops uh, with the uh, melons compared to what we got with the sugar cane so it's quite consistent in that respect so that was quite good we did quite a bit of work actually with the um uh, with the melons we got quite a lot done so the next one is if you guys don't know though when you break the melons with all your boots on you get plus six farming and of course when you do it with the sugar cane at the top i think you got just about five i think it was or a very high four i can't actually remember let's quickly uh, check see how many we get so when we break um sugar cane how much did we get per one we got 3.2 but of course it probably gets top and bottom so it becomes uh six point um four so that's probably why it was slightly more oh no don't die uh so yeah so that's what we got for the melons so we're going to chuck the melons to the side if i can find which end i'm meant to be going to uh where do i start from i think it's this way let's try this again what is this? 
I think he's like right to the other corner. I think I've literally flown around the wrong. Oh no, here it is. So yeah, so the melons are done. So as we've just figured out, the melons are slightly less than uh, the uh, than the sh uh, a slight less than the sugar cane, but that's okay. That is what the part of the test is. But it's very similar, so it's only three thousand off. So the next one we're going to try is the pumpkins. Only thing is, as I do know, the pumpkins aren't as full. Uh, so that would be the only reason it would be slightly off uh, for the pumpkins. But breaking pumpkins are, I think, six again. So we're going to test it out again using from the same number which we started with. But we're going to use our pumpkin dicer and see what score we get. So I'll catch you guys back up in five minutes or matter one second for you guys. And we'll see how much more we get in a minute. We are back with our final crop. And then we've got six, five, six thousand seven hundred and ten. And that comes to one of our calculations of thirty four thousand nine hundred and seventy eight farming XP which means the pumpkins come in second place very closely behind the sugar cane, which was at 35,300, and then the melon at 32,000. So, of course, these numbers are very close together. I'm quite surprised at how close pumpkin is to a sugar cane, but actually, if you break one pumpkin, as you can see, we get 6.8 farming experience, So, which is pretty, pretty in, uh, crazy number per pumpkin. But, of course, with the sugar cane, you're probably breaking at a slightly faster rate and you get two don't you each time so you get uh, 6.4 i think if the maths is right so yeah this is quite interesting to see how close the numbers are of course these are only these three crops but i believe these are the best crops and uh i think they make the most money and get the most farming xp but overall ours we have figured out the most farming xp seems to come from the sugar cane um farming and very closely behind it is the uh, pumpkin so if you wanted to make a decision out of those two which one you wanted to use i would recommend using sugarcane because it's um i think it might be more space efficient uh i probably couldn't because it doesn't need light so you don't have to worry about light you just plant it as much as you want and also with the sugarcane at the moment you can run in a specific way that means you can run at maximum speed so you can probably have nearly 400 speed whereas with the other um uh, items you have to uh, run at certain speeds or she won't be able to break them all at most efficient pace so at the moment if you want to get the most farming xp at this point in time on the game you want to be using sugarcane closely followed by behind pumpkin if you want me to do any more tests whether it's with mushrooms or with sugar uh, with wheat please let me know down in the comments and i can do a part two to this to see if there's anyone's better but to my recommendations they are the best two to have and of course make sure you have your cookie uh, your booster cookie on and make sure you have your farming booster potion on because they are all a super essential and of course elephant pet is always essential in leveling up farming because that is how you get the most drops when you are doing all of your uh, farming setups but guys that is going to be it for today's episode we're going to open up some presents because it's been a while since we have done that and then we're going to end the episode off so we're going to head over to hub as we always do and we need to go and grab ourselves some presents but i don't know how much the presents are at this point in time gifts uh green gifts are for a stack we need 500k 400k will do us quite nicely so just grab 400k and let's open up some presents we've done that now ba -dum -ba -dum. open it all up i'm hoping this has all been recorded nicely as normal i'm not sure why there's heads but we have got ourselves some presents to open and no please stand still oh that was close okay this guy this guy wants some presents. So we're going to open up some presents with these guys. Fingers crossed we get ourselves a nice drop. I'll catch up with you guys if we do get anything good. Fingers crossed some more um, snow minion drops or any of the boosters. Because we like to use the boosters for all of these uh, videos we've been doing. But yeah, I'll catch you guys when hopefully we've either got a nice drop or we have done all of our presents well unfortunately guys as usual we didn't get any good drops today but that is going to be it for today's episode i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you are new do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below and put your post notifications on so you can join us for whenever new episodes drop or new streams come back and hopefully i can get those going back to normal on thursdays and maybe bring them back on other days depending on if i have some time but i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if there's anything you want me to go over and cover if there's anything you want me to add or you got any questions do not hesitate to throw that down in the comments I love talking to you guys and being able to help out as much as I can. But guys, thank you so much for today's episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you all in the next episode. See ya.